you all already know what time it is. The time, the time is now. I'm Coach Cal, and I got two questions for you. Question one is, do you wish you played more in the infield? And question two is, if you are playing in, in the infield, do you wish you played better? If you answered yes to any of those questions, then you came to the right video, because today we're going to talk about three tactics to master to become an elite premier infielder. Can't nobody hit the ball to you and be safe. Let's get right into this video. A tactic number one is angle awareness. It's a recurring thing to see a lot of people go straight to a ball and look up to just have to change direction to go to first base. Sure, you can still make the play like that, but that's not the most efficient way. That's not the cleanest way. When you get out to the showcase, they're looking for sweet angles to first base, not just catch the ball, look up, shuffle, shuffle, throw. What we want to do instead is we want to flow, right? The only way to flow is to create the angle and create the angle early. If you don't know what I mean by that, I made a whole video on how to create angles and how to create them early. If you haven't seen it, watch this video. This is going to help you with your angles and make more plays to first base, all right? We're not going to be step-by-step -step robotic. We're going to do it slow. We're going to do it smooth because slow is smooth and smooth is fast. But our, our objective is to create that angle even on balls hit this way. That's where the angles come into play. That's where the early angles come into play. Whatever you can do to make your second step of throwing the ball easier, then you're gonna make more outs and send more kids back to the dugout. So let's really practice that tactic of angle awareness. Watch the video, study it, and your angles are gonna be insane, all right? Point is, it's not just catch the ball, it's catch the ball, throw the ball, okay? Two steps that you should flow together. So the second tactic is replace your feet explosively. So the main reason why you don't want to cross your feet is because if you cross, if you cross behind, your weight's going the other way. So when your weight's going the other way, you're going this way to throw the ball that way. You don't want that to happen. So second reason, right, we don't want to cross in front because your cleat might get stuck in your in your shoelace or even worse your sock so don't do that because that happened to me you don't want that all right one time i did get him out second time he didn't he didn't get out so don't do that okay instead just replace your feet right even if you're catching a ground ball don't cross to catch it replace to catch it even if it's a subtle cross you still don't want to do that so you don't run the risk of getting your cleat stuck on your shoelace and embarrassing yourself and falling like I did. Uh, but I'm here to help you learn those lessons so you don't have to experience that yourself. Uh, can we agree, right? Can we agree that that's embarrassing, sir? Yep. Can we agree that you should replace your feet? Yes. Can we agree that you should cross your feet? Absolutely not. Ooh, he's on. He's on. Say what's up to the camera. He's on today. Get the shirt, get the shirt, get the So tactic three to master is traveling low. When I say traveling low, that point of when the ball is hit to when you catch it should be you closing distance with the ball, right? You want to get closer to the ball. You also want to get closer to your target. But while you're getting closer to the ball, first thing we want to look for is our left foot behind us. We want to travel with our left foot behind us just so we can get our left foot to give us more momentum to our throw. All right, second thing we want to look for is travel with your chest down. Traveling with your chest down allows us to work under the ball or that ball just stays down and goes right under your legs. There's nothing more embarrassing than that. Trust me. So travel with your chest down to avoid any of that. Follow me on Instagram, Time Is Now Baseball. We post a lot of content there. You're not gonna wanna miss all designed to help you become a better athlete on the diamond. So when you finally get back out on that field, you're shining, you haven't skipped a beat, all right? If you want more tips to become a better athlete on the diamond, then hit that subscribe button because we do post twice weekly. All designed to help you become a better athlete on the diamond. If you learn anything new in this video, hit that like button and I'll see you guys at the next video, right? All right.